God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashah. The Holy Spirit's name is Rosh HaKodesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5:43. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Exodus 31, 12 through 14. That most high in heaven, in earth and in everywhere, you took the initiative to reach out to call me, even in my sin and selfishness, in order to bring me into your eternal kingdom through the work of Christ. I cannot fathom such love. And yet, Father, sometimes I try to hoard your grace. I sometimes try to put up walls of protection that I might keep hurt out and blessings in. I am like the clam that shuts itself up in its shell, afraid of threats from the outside. Oh, but you have called me to unshell myself and to partner with you in your mission of love. Thank you for unshelling me, that, that I may reach out to a lonely, discouraged and even hopeless world. In Yahushua's name, I pray, I thank you. I love you, Dad. Repent and live. Ezekiel 18, 32. Repent and live. There's a wreck yard in the mind of every quitter. In time, he'll need a babysitter. Have you ever considered what happens when we sin? Well, this is what happens. We attempt to meet our needs apart from our Father, Yahuwah, who made us. And because of this, we become self-centered and we drift away from God and his plans for our lives. We move further away from him until eventually we may reject the idea that we need his presence at all. You enter into the wreck yard of your mind. The natural result of this is that we face pain, loneliness, eventually bitterness and frustration. Why? Because we don't have the inner resources to bring peace into our troubled hearts, having shut out the only one who can provide them to us. God himself he created us to soar like eagles, but instead we become earthbound creatures who have lost the capacity to be who he made us to be. You have entered into the wreck yard of the mind. We've clipped our own wings by denying his leadership which means we won't find the purpose and meaning he created 
us to enjoy. However, this empty restlessness is actually a good thing because it opens the door for dad to make contact with us again. If you're feeling the inner warning signals of suffering, purposelessness, full of bitterness, uselessness, or frustration, examine your heart. You may be attempting to satisfy your needs apart from God. You have entered the wreck yard of your mind. Thankfully, he wants you back. Don't deny him. Repent and live. Fight the good fight, keeping faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected and suffered shipwreck in regard to their faith. 1 Timothy 1, 18 and 19. Paul understood what it was like to be shipwrecked. Paul entered the wreck yard of his mind. Paul understood what it was like. See? To experience such a long and terrible buffeting by a storm that the ship you're on comes apart beneath you. Paul understood what it was like. See, Paul entered the wreck yard of his mind. You're left floating in the turbulent waters wondering if you will survive or be dashed against the rocks. You have entered the wreck yard of your mind. Of course, Paul was a literal storm and ship. However, he understood that many people have faced similar circumstances in their walks with God. They encounter tempest, and instead of trusting the Lord God, Yahuwah, through them, they turn to their own means of writing out the trials, whether it's through addictive substances or any other number of sins. Deep inside, they know they are not honoring God, and eventually, the storm shakes apart their security, leaving them to sink between the swelling tides. They are in the wreck yard of their minds. Friend, if you're tempted to compromise God's principles because of a hurricane of adversity that developed in your life, don't. You truly risk running aground spiritually, any other ship will fail you. But this storm has arisen to strengthen your faith in Christ. So do not abandon your Savior. Stay with him and get out of the wreck yard in your mind. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, thank you for your word. Help me to honor you, whether through submission or in standing with you. Please reveal my sin so I can repent of it and experience your peace. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. I thank you. I love you, Dad. You be blessed now. You hear? Peace.